Hey guys, Coach Alice and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we're going to be teaching on the leg press with a glute bias. Now, when we look at the leg press, we have an opportunity to be able to train the quads, the adductors, and the glutes. And what is going to differentiate amongst those muscle group bias is going to be the setup. And before we get into the setup of how we can bias the glutes, I think that getting into a little bit of anatomy within the glutes is going to allow for you to have a better understanding of why the setup is the way that it is. So first, let's have Sue turn around and showcase a little bit of this anatomy within the insertion and the origin of the glute. And so it is going to originate on the hip here, and then we're going to have the insertion point on the outer portion of the femur. Lock that into your memory as we get into the initiation. Now I'll have Sue go ahead and sit down into the leg press and we will get our setup correct to best bias the glutes. Now, you may commonly hear that a high and wide foot placement is going to be best to train the glutes. And yes, the glutes are, are still going to get some bias within this foot positioning, but I think that there is a greater nuance that we should dig into to better bias those glutes. Now come back to that anatomy component of the insertion and the origin of the glute that we talked about at the very beginning of this video, and it wraps around the femur. And so if we take that wider stance, this is actually decreasing the range of motion because of that insertion point being on the outside of the upper leg or the femur. And so we want to have a high foot placement that's going to allow for us to bias hip flexion, but is also going to allow for that glute to fully lengthen because it's wrapping around the femur. And so we want to have a more narrow stance with our, our foot placement to bias glutes the best possible way that we can. Now, can you still get that bias with that wider stance for the glutes? Certainly, but you're gonna have a greater bias potentially towards the adductors. And in our setting here, we want to have the best bias towards the glutes, so a more narrow stance is going to be the best. I'd like to further clarify on the foot placement of stating that it should be higher because this is going to be relative to the length of your legs as well as the leg press that you're utilizing. And we can kind of dig into the differences of those leg presses later on in this video. But let's continue on with the body positioning and how we're going to effectively execute this movement. So when we look at Sue's upper body, what we want to do is make sure that we're bracing the core. So fill that abdomen with air and crunch down on it to ensure that you're in the best braced position. We want to take those handles and we want to pull ourselves very hard into the seat. I don't want to see within my clients and Sue's clients and all physique development clients, them having their hands waving around and, and using <laughs> on the back pad, um, pushing against their knees, all those different factors. Keep those hands on those handles and pull hard to keep yourself in the most stable position. From there, as Sue goes ahead and presses off that leg press, as she goes into the eccentric portion, she's pulling herself hard into that seat and she's wanting to keep her glutes pressed up against that seat. Now, what happens with clients and what we see often is that they're trying to chase a greater range of motion. So they continue to let that go and then they see their lower back round and then their glutes are pulling off of the bench. This is putting your lower back at a greater compromised position for injury. And so we want to ensure that the glutes are staying pressed up against that seat and that is going to be your end range. It's okay that maybe you see someone on Instagram have more range of motion and they may use it differently or what have you, but this is for your active range and your personal limb links. Now with us at the bottom, this is the most important part of this exercise. This is where the glutes are going to be the most challenged. This is called the lengthened position for those glutes. And so we want to maintain a lot of tension. And as Sue is gonna be pressing that leg press, what she's thinking about is pushing through her midsole and her heel while trying to drive her hips down into that pad. This is going to allow for us to have the best bias towards the glutes. Now, when I say bias, this does not mean that the glutes are the only muscle group working. The adductors, the quads, they're all still contributing, but we're trying to have the greatest bias towards those glutes. And by following these cues, you're going to be able to do that. I would like to add that when I talk about pushing through the midsole and the heel, that this does not mean just to lift off your toes and, and barely have that pressure through your heel. You still want to have the entire foot in contact with the foot plate to have the best output when pressing through this exercise. To further expand on the prioritization of hip flexion, what we're wanting to see when Sue is going through the eccentric portion, we're gonna see the deprioritization 
of the knee flexion. What we want to see is that knee being in alignment with the ankle here. And if we are to see this knee travel forward and be past the ankle, we're probably going to have a greater bias of the quads and a greater bias towards that knee flexion, which if you're interested in seeing a quad bias leg press, we have that video on the channel as well. The final point I wanted to make, I wanted to bring it back to the different types of leg press that you may have at your gym. It may be pin loaded, it may be a squat press just like this where the foot plate is going to be pivoting. It also may be a linear squat press where you're gonna have the guide rails and it's gonna be generally a larger contraption. And so the foot placement is going to be a little bit different on each piece depending on your uh, limb lengths as well as how the machine is set up. So please take your time as you're getting set up in these different types of leg press and not just look at this example and be like, well, I can't do it exactly like that. I guess I can't bias glutes because it's just going to look a little bit different depending on how the foot plate moves and those different factors. If you found this video helpful, we have tons of resources on our channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're wanting more glute growth tips, I have my three top tools to utilize in Sue's favorite glute growth exercises. If you're wanting something more personalized and individualized to you for the best results possible, go ahead and inquire in the link below to have one of our coaches work with you and have the best results of your life.